Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. And I'm Gabe. In this episode of Mattressology, we are gonna talk about your mattress shopping checklist. So let's go. First of all, I wanna say that this episode was inspired by some good friends, some good mattress friends, Sam and Terry out in Sleep USA Mattress. There's some fellow mattress weirdos. They have a few stores, I believe, in North Carolina, Georgia, and I think one in Tennessee. So if you're in your mattress shopping mode and you can't make it back to us, I would say try them out, check them out. They'll take good care of you. Mm -hmm. So Sam and Terry, shout out to Sam and Terry. Thank you. Okay, so whenever my wife sends me out to Costco or any other grocery store for that matter, I always need a checklist. I need a checklist. If I don't have a checklist, I'm gonna miss something. Yep. And a lot of times when people are mattress shopping, they don't think they, you need a checklist. You have a, one thing on the checklist, mattress, you're done, good to go. So this guy loves his checklist, by the way. In fact, he's got a checklist for walking out the door, yeah, have a checklist turn the key, take the first, like it it's- It is, man. One of my favorite movies of all time is What About Bob Baby Steps. So Baby Steps. This goes out to Baby Steps, so. But no, having a checklist is important just because, you know, if you're mattress shopping, you're trying to solve a problem. Yeah. You know, and usually that problem is you're not sleeping mm. good, you're not comfortable, you're having back pain, there's something going wrong. So sometimes a mattress is just not all it's gonna take yeah. to fix that problem. It's one piece of the problem, a yeah. major piece, other things that may help you when getting a new mattress. Yeah, so elevate this, that sleep, you know, experience, right? Just yes. get you better sleep. It is, we're trying to get better sleep, we're trying to get more comfortable, yeah. trying to get healthier, trying to wake up refreshed and excited and mm -hmm. energized in the morning. So again, a mattress is a part of it, but there are things when you're in the store, there's there's a checklist that I would highly recommend, which will make your mattress shopping experience a lot better. Yeah. There are five things that I would say you need to hit on on the checklist. Obviously, this is probably the most obvious, mm -hmm. but it can be messed up. Yeah. Is find your comfort. Like yep. you gotta know what your comfort level is, you know, because it seems very simple, but I've seen people, there's a right way to do this mm -hmm. and there's a wrong way to do this. Yeah. So Gabe, what do you mean like, like find your comfort? Man. It's different than find your mattress. For sure the wrong way yes. is coming in and pressing on the mattress, right? Yes. yes. Sitting on the edge of it and just being like, oh, too hard. I mean, I had a lady uh, yesterday was still in the mattress like, oh, this is way too soft. Yes. And I'm like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> lie on the mattress, you know, let your body just, you know, just relax in it. And she did, and she's like, oh wait, no, in fact, she has a firm bed. Yeah. So, you know, one, don't just test with your hands. Yes, unless right? you're, in, you know, if you're looking for fruit, if you're look, doing CPR on the mattress, yeah. okay. Or you're sleeping on your hands, but yeah, that's not how you yeah. find your comfort is going on every mattress and pushing down. Yeah, you know? but what we like to do is a couple things we like to do, but one thing, and it, it works, is you want to go test out a firm, test out a medium and then test out a soft. Yes. And see, okay, which one is gonna be the most comfortable for you? Yes. Right? Yeah, another wrong way is like just laying on every single bed yep. in the store yeah. and getting confused. And then you don't know where, you know, where you're at and then your comfort level, you know? Yep. So on your shopping journey in the store, usually stores, I would say, at least I would hope they would have them organized. Cause that's what we have done for years. We haven't broken like firm, medium, soft on yeah. every level. And you know, doing that first comfort test and kind of just getting a gauge of where you're at comfort wise. Yep. That's important. Like you might not find the exact perfect one in this time, but at least you have no, I'm more on the firmer side or I actually like it on the softer side because if you do that, you're gonna narrow mm -hmm. down at probably about two thirds of the mattresses. Oh, for sure. You know, but there's another way that we do. I need your comfort, which we just started doing this. This has probably have been game changing in our stores mm -hmm. and has made it much more objective. Finding your comfort, the problem with finding, like doing just a mattress comfort test, it could be a little bit more subjective and you're not sure, you know, about like, does this one feel better? Does this one feel better? There's a lot of subjectivity to it. Yeah, absolutely. So there is another way. You we, wanna- Yeah, the, the other one we do is we use technology in it and that yeah. is doing a pressure map. Test. Pressure map, yep. And the pressure mapping that we use is by a company called Xsensor. Like yep. And there's what 1700 plus sensors inside the mattress. Yeah. And it's getting what your pressure is and then what your support is. Yes. And it's perfect for a mattress. Those are the two, obviously the most important thing when we get in a new mattress is comfort. And but that is very related to the comfort and the support. So yeah. what affects the comfort is gonna be the how much pressure you're getting mm -hmm. and the, the support that the mattress is giving you. And this is a tool that we use. It's more of a diagnostic tool yeah. that helps determine or your pressure and the support of the mattress. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like Gabe said, there's 1700 sensors in there. It's really cool how this works. And it just gives us something more objective. I would say it's more of a, like a launch pad. It's not the end all be all. Right. What we found is if, if we could line up what the tool, the diagnostic tool, the pressure mapping is saying with what your body is telling you too. If we can line those two things up, chances are you're gonna get the right mattress. Yeah. 
it has been so game changing. And instead of trying, you know, 10 different beds. Now we only have to focus on a few. It just gives us something a lot more objective. I think that's yeah. a video that we're gonna have to end up we're gonna showing do more in. Video. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna do one. more of a video on the pressure <clears throat> map in. It's really cool. It's a really cool tool that we brought into our stores. If the store doesn't have it, do the comfort test. I would say that's probably the next best thing. Yeah. Okay, so I would say now the number two thing on your mattress shopping checklist is what, Gabe? Finding your pillow. Finding that pillow. You, know, you got your comfort level. Yes. You so, know, okay, you I'm a medium pillow. or I'm a soft or I'm a firm. Now find your pillow. Find that pillow. Why the pillow? I'm actually a pillow snob, so it just I could be on a I wouldn't even great call it a mattress. I wouldn't even call it a pillow. Oh, mine it's is like the, a towel. Mine is with, the best pillow like this ever made. Yeah. It's and I made it myself. Pillow. Yes, it's a, it's a pancake pillow. I could be on my current mattress that I have right now, what I love, and on a different pillow, a thicker pillow, and I would hate it. I wouldn't sleep good. Pretty much yeah. a beanbag with like a little cornhole beanbag that you sleep on. Pretty much. I sleep on a buckwheat pillow with some latex inside of it. Pillow is such a personal thing. And I say get the right pillow because a pillow can affect, it can affect your whole sleeping experience. You know, yeah. like certain pillows match certain mattresses better, you know, and there's a lot of variables. Your body type, your sleep position, even the firmness of the mattress mm -hmm. can affect what kind of pillow you go with. I mean, we are such pillow snobs here. We actually brought in a machine. We used to sell dozens of different pillows. Yeah. We've gone through so many different types of pillow vendors and pillow types, and this is the best pillow ever. It's gonna work for a third of the people who are gonna love it, a third of the people are gonna hate it, a third of the people are gonna be indifferent to it. it doesn't matter yeah. what pillow it is. You know, I've sold four or $500 pillows, and again, it's the same thing. We deem the pillow so important that we brought in a pillow kiosk machine. Like we actually make custom pillows for the individual in the store so they can actually get it individualized, customized and adjust it when they need to. That's how much we think that the pillow is important, making a custom pillow for you. But finding your pillow can make or break the, mm -hmm. your, your sleep experience. And yeah, it's kind of like cheese and wine. You want to mesh a pillow with the mattress. You know? There you go. Yeah. So sure. find your pillow. Now the third point, or I should say the third item on your mattress shopping checklist is going to be what, Gabe? Third is going to be what you came in the store for, your mattress. Yes. You know the comfort level that you want. Let's say you're a medium. You got a pillow. It's like, okay, this is a great pillow. So now you're going to take that around the store with you and test out the different now medium firm yeah. mattresses, right? So now it's just going to be, let's find out what mattress you like. Yes. Is it a hybrid? Is it an all latex? Is yep. it a traditional mattress? Right? Yep, yep. And that's, yeah, I mean, so you got, the, like Gabe was saying, you got the comfort level. Now it's just your mattress. You know, this is a little bit different. Now you can narrow it down. And you don't have to try, you know, dozen different mattresses. You know your comfort level, so just narrow it down. And again, some people respond better to a hybrid. Some people respond better to a foam or a latex. Some people respond better to more traditional. Narrowing down the mattress. Like, let's get the mattress right, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, now another huge part, which is often overlooked, that the fourth thing on your mattress shopping checklist is what gave the fourth is gonna be the your foundation. What is the mattress on? Yes. Right? And that's a big thing. Yeah, what goes underneath your mattress? Like we say this all the time, a mattress is only good as the weakest link. Mm -hmm. Well, part of that link is gonna be not just the mattress, but underneath the mattress. Like if you have platform bed, you want just a flat platform bed, mm -hmm. you know? Do you want a box spring or a foundation? Which we've done a video recently, box springs versus foundations. You might want to check that video out to get a little bit more insight on that. My favorite one though is, and a lot of people don't realize that this is such a game changer, is that adjustable. Oh yeah, Yeah, for being sure. Being able to adjust your head and foot, you know, that can totally enhance your sleep experience. Oh yeah, so. absolutely. I mean, it's one of the big things is, you know, if you're just flat all the time, you know, I mean, sometimes you just need to be elevated, right? Yeah. If it's, if you got a cold or, you know, man, my back may just be giving me a little bit of problems. So I'm going to elevate my legs a little bit. Yep. So there's a lot of benefits of the adjustable base. And a big thing is what we've seen is from having a lumbar support. Lumbar support. If you be, feel yeah. like you just want, Hey, you know what? My mattress, I feel like I just needs to be a little bit firmer in this area. Bring up that lumbar support. Yep. Bam. You got it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, remember, we're trying to solve a problem. We're trying to get you to sleep better, you know? The mattress usually will get you about anywhere from 70, 80% to where you need it to be. Your positioning, you know, is gonna get you that remaining 20, 25%. Yep. You know, it's gonna get you across that finish line because there might be little bit of tweaks in your positioning that can help you get it a better support, mm -hmm. better comfort. The analogy I like to use is like a new suit. You could get a suit made with the best material, the finest silk or wool, you know, whatever suits are made out of. If you don't get the suit to a tailor, you know, it's not gonna look right. It's not gonna fit right on you. 
And that's kind of what the adjustable base does is it's tailoring it more to your body. Mm -hmm. You can get the best mattress, but it's still a little bit of adjustments. Having that ability to raise it, the head, the feet, the lumbar, will be able to tailor it better to you. Yeah, just so micro that, adjustments, right? Yeah, that's something that pay attention to when you're on your mattress shopping journey is, let's see, maybe that positioning can be a huge part. Get the right foundation. So you got the flat, you got box ring foundation, or you got the adjustable base. Um, those are the most common. Okay, now the fifth thing on the mattress shopping checklist, which I can debate, which maybe one of the most more important ones it is it's yeah. definitely the top five most important it is it's the top, but, five, yeah, yes. top five most important ones but no it's very because it's often overlooked again like the pillow change your sleep experience mm -hmm. is the sleep essential yeah like what is actually goes on top of the bed mm -hmm. you know like sleep essential give me some oh, yeah. examples man it's uh yeah it's completely overlooked but you know you got sheets you got your mattress protector yes you know You've got Comforter, you know, comforters, blankets, blanket, days. yeah, Those are all, all that stuff on, on top of the mattress. And you gotta remember, like the, the sheets, they're the closest thing to your skin. Yeah. Like that, I have seen people spend $5,000 on a mattress, but they're using their old polyester sheets. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's not gonna give you that experience, you know? I'm sure a lot of you, you know, viewers have tried great sheets. I mean, it just totally can just, you get that, ah, yeah. when you get that nice, or if you got a good, or if you got a good pair of sheets and you yeah. take them out of the wash and you put a fresh uh, set of sheets on your bed, yes. your mattress feels like more comfortable. Yes, you know, yes, it does. So yeah, don't go cheap on your sheets. Yeah, you know that's that's something that you you really want to pay attention to. You know, and if you're gonna spend good money on a mattress, let's let's start from scratch. Let's enhance everything. You yeah. Know? But so I would say, yeah. We give a sheet about sheets, right? Yeah? Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, yeah. But also, beyond the sheets, what else? Protectors. You want to protect. You want to protect the mattress. You bought a nice, expensive mattress, right? Or you've put some money into it, you want it to last a long time. Yeah. Get a mattress protector so that it, one, protects the warranty. Yep. And it doesn't get all that nasty. gunk and stuff on top of the Mattresses get bed. nasty. We've seen it. Mattresses get funky. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to protect it. You know, and there's, we'll do a whole video on mattress protector. There's a rabbit hole mattress protector. You don't want to go no cheap plastic one. Mm -hmm. You know, that's some people think about that. But no, there's, they have gotten nice ones that are very minimal. And there's, you could go waterproof, water resistant. You could go natural. You could go synthetic, cooling, non cool. So there's a lot to go in. But take some time, ask the salesperson when you're in the store what kind of mattress protector options they have. You know, if you get hot, if temperature is not an issue with you, but yeah, protect the mattress. Yeah. Definitely put that on the checklist, you know, blankets, duvets. I'm not going to get too much into that. You know, some other sleep aids, you know, with sound machines, we're not going to get too much into that, but all those can help you with your sleep experience. Mm -hmm. Just things to pay attention to. Those are the essentials that, that we talked about. So yeah, I think that's it. I think we yeah. covered it all. I hope this helped you guys. If you guys like this video or if it's helpful, please uh, give us a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. If you want to see this more in depth, we put together a mattress shopping checklist for you, a little PDF. It's a mattress shopping checklist. We also put like the sheets that we recommend or the adjustable bases yeah. that we rec recommend or some sleep aids that we would recommend too. We go a little bit more depth than that. So it's on the link, click on the link below and you, know, you can get that mattress shopping checklist. Yeah, and then if you're also, you wanna watch some mattress videos, I would say the next video is mistakes not to make when mattress shopping. Mm -hmm. Also, we also have another video where we just take apart a mattress and get in there and you can see what's inside some of these name brand mattresses. They're really industry and really cool. So yeah. hope that helped you guys. Yeah. That's it. Thank you for watching. Yep. Sleep well. God bless.